This is Chippy from CarryPad and I want to give you a quick demo of uh, Buzz on Google Maps Mobile on Symbian and Windows Mobile 6.5. It's pretty interesting to see how it integrates, so let's have a look. So I've got the N82 here on the, on the left and the Samsung Omnia Pro on the right. Let's have a look at the uh, N82. This is uh, pretty interesting because the N82 has the nice camera and a very good uh, GPS. So we're straight into Google Maps here and I've got my normal um, latitude layer showing with my latitude contacts. Now it'll be interesting to see how latitude contacts and the use of latitude increases as um, the use of buzz increases because there's definitely going to be some integration there. If I just hit the, uh, well so let's just have a look at the maps first around me here are uh, buzzes from the area now I'm in Bonn in Germany which is not known for its uh, social media craziness but there's uh, already um, a bunch of buzzes in the area and I can uh, just hit the hash key to bring up the, uh, the latest buzzes in the area and uh, from this interface I can um, view the images and I can also comment on other people's buzzes as well. Let's see if we can get that without uh, too much reflection there. So there's me commenting. What you can't do is get I uh, any more information on the uh, person. So I can't um, find out about the person and try and connect with them on, on Latitude or Google Mail or any, anything like that. So clearly there's uh, more things that could be done there. Um, but if I go to, let's have a look, go to my favorites. Um, which is uh, the, on the star key, and the star key is there. And if I go to, let's say, where was I recently? Convention Center Las Vegas. So that's going to go straight to the uh, the map. Got a low battery uh, sign there. And there you can see the local buzzes there. So you can imagine a situation where you could uh, just load up favorite locations. Oh, sorry, that's latitude that I'm showing there. But if I move around to one of the buzzes, click on that, shows the location and the uh, and the buzz. It's just loading the address there. If I hit the hash key again, it will load up all the local uh, the local buzz list for that map area. It's taking a little while to do that. This is working all over uh, 3G and. Um, not sure why that's taking a long time there to load up the buzz list. Let's try a different location. Let's go star again. I'll go to the hotel I was at in London last week. And um, let's have a look, see if we've got um, oh, changing access point. Maybe Google's gone, uh, Vodafone, my local provider, has gone down. Looks like it might have. Here we go. So um, here's the buzz in the current viewport around that area. Someone's saying it's basically uh, Twitter. Oh, that was just the ones loaded up from um, Las Vegas. But uh, let's have a look at the buzz list for the local area. If I go to one buzz, then I can see the hash key. And that should load up. There you go. Very quickly. So someone's at work here. I can comment on them. So a really interesting integration uh, between location, photography and um, and uh, social networking. So the other thing I can do of course is um, add a buzz and I can select a photo. I can actually take a new photo. So let me uh, see if I can, oh that's using the front cam at the moment. So let's just quick um, Take that photo. Options. Okay. Uh, we'll select that one. And um, I'll just type in my buzz here. Um, testing buzz. Oops, can't spell. Testing and post. Now that photo and that buzz will now be 
in my timeline, people will be able to see that. And my Gmail contacts and anyone that's searching in the in the area. So let's take a look at it on um, a larger screen. This is the uh, Samsung Omnia Pro running Windows Mobile 6.5. Uh, this one's actually in Dutch, but don't uh, worry about that. So go to my location, and this is my wife's phone, so she'll uh, be able to see me. But showing the buzzes here, there on her phone is my latest buzz, a couple of other bu buzzes I've done, and buzzes in the area as well. So I can, that's my wife, this is my wife's phone, I can uh, add a little comment there. Um, Oops. And that goes away and that appears in my timeline, that will appear in my Gmail account. And, um, and there you go there. So again, can just switch to a different area and look at the buzzes from that area. And we can go to favorites, um, sorry, menu. Um, I think that's no. Nope. Well, she hasn't got any favourites. Yeah. So there's a few things uh, that uh, need to be noted. Number one is uh, when you buzz, it seems to buzz your exact location if if it knows it. There's no way to sort of buzz a, a um, an area bigger than where you exactly are. Um, there's also some integration missing between Latitude, Google Mail and Buzz. So for example, if I wanted to connect with someone on Google Mail or send them a mail or add them to my friends, that's not possible at the moment or it seems it's not that possible at the moment. Uh, does this rotate? No, it doesn't. Um, so of course in the future, it's going to be interesting to see how that develops. But um, there's also another thing to note when you're using it on a mobile phone, this is using GPS, backlight. Um, it's using 3G or, or your Wi-Fi and it's doing a lot of computational work and screen updates as well so this is going to be an absolute battery killer I don't expect to see anyone using this uh, for a full day uh, on their mobile phones in fact I've been mucking around with this one this morning the battery's already half empty in fact I've got the low battery sign already so that's one thing to watch out for so this is um, that's a quick demo of Buzz on Maps 4.0 for mobile Great uh, integration and exciting to see um, the ability uh, to see um, social networking on a um, geographical scale uh, integrated with search, latitude and mail is going to be quite the killer app once it's all integrated. That's it for now then. This is uh, Chippy from carrypad.com for the Samsung Omni Pro and the Nokia N82 with Google Buzz on Maps Mobile. Thanks for watching.